Hey guys, it's Ewok Pilot here, and today we're going to be doing a look and review at my updated modifications for this LEGO Star Wars MTT. This is set 7662. It is a 2007 set. It originally retailed for $100, I believe. It uh, brand new sealed on eBay. I believe it'll fetch you around $400 or $500 is how expensive this thing is. You could get it for about $200 used. I bought this used on eBay, and um, without further ado, we're just gonna get straight into this thing. So first of all, before we get to the main modification part, I'm just gonna show you all that everything on the set still works. We got this top hatch here. I can go ahead, you can still open that up, and there's still a little area inside. I can show you that here. So you can see we still got our pilot droid in there and everything. Then right here, you can see there's the rack. I did remove the gun rack right there. That is no longer there. And if you move it onto the back, back here, as you can see, the speeder is no longer there. That is one of the drawbacks to my modification. I am trying to get it to where you can fit the speeder back in there. So if I do do that, I will get an up, another update video if I can figure that out. Uh -huh. On the back here, you can see this thing Juts out a little bit more, which is actually more accurate to the actual set. And I removed these things on the back because I actually used them to extend the rack. And if we open this up, you can actually see that this part comes all the way back out here. That's why this had to be shoved back just a little bit. Right there. And then this hatch opens up. Same thing for that. Still opens. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the uh, opening of the droid rack. Since I know that's what you're all here to see. So if you can see right here, I did actually, the knob was originally right here on this stud right here. If you can see that on this part where this grill currently ends. But I actually, in order to make sure the whole thing could come out, I had to move that back. And to make sure I could fit the whole thing in the first place. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna start turning this. Now, another drawback is that you actually have to open it manually now um, because this just isn't strong enough to push it out but we're gonna get straight into opening this thing and that is always very very satisfying to watch so as you can see here um, the biggest change I made is the fact that I added another row of droids. If you watched my last video last time, I only had these two rows of droids, but now I've added another one underneath that. And how I've done this is simply by lowering that rack of droids, raising up the bottom of the platform just a little bit, and then extending it upwards. And if you could see when it was coming out, it barely fits in there. Like there's very, very little clearance from the roof of this thing and this, which means I had to do a lot of internal restructuring on the inside, which is extremely extensive in order to get this thing to be fixed. But I think, I think I am one of the first people to actually get this rack to have three rows on it without actually changing the exterior of the MTT at all. Most people have to, I've seen as at least had to change the back and widen the sides but I didn't have to do any of that I just removed some stuff on the inside sacrificing some stability but as you can see it still holds up very well so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get into more features of what this thing can do because it actually doesn't just stay like this so if you can see I got this clip piece right here now the reason I have this is because if you don't have this here these things will just topple over it's holding it in place I have one on each side so if I go ahead and open that up, I can pull this out like so. I'm gonna go ahead and fold that out on both of them. And as you can see, it did that. And there we go. That is it fully extended on this side here. I'll move it back so y'all can see it better and then you can do the exact same thing on the other side and 
there y'all go. That is the fully open and extended droid rack right there. Now, from here, obviously, you can remove the droids. And also, I don't know if you'll notice this, but it used to only be able to hold four on each row. I have extended it to make it hold six. That's one of the reasons I had to extend the length of this. But yeah, that's what I did here. So this can this is a total of 36 battle droids, and the original set only holds 16. So that's adding 20 droids onto this rack, which I think is a huge number comparatively. I'm going to try and further extend this, but we'll see how far I get on that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to show you all how you can load this back up. It's pretty much the same thing, but in reverse. So I'll do this side first. And on this, you gotta kinda, it's really hard to do with this camera setup. Just gotta rotate those back. And those are a little too far out. Gotta make sure the feet are swung all the way back in. And then you gotta raise a little clamp. You gotta do the same thing on this side. Now if the feet don't go all the way back in, then it'll grease it. That's something we don't want. You can see you close that up. Just make sure it's aligned properly. And yeah, there you go, that's all folded back up. And then as you can see, we just reel it back in like we pulled it out in the first place. And yeah, you can see there, it's very, very little clearance. I can actually give you all this angle. It's very little clearance here. Huh. And as you can see, it fits in there all very nicely, but it's a very tight fit. But you can still close it all the way back up. Got a nice concealed MTT troop carrier with 36 battle droids in it. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see any future updates on this thing, um, please leave me a comment down below. If you want to see a tutorial on how to get this, um, I need to see enough comments down below because... A tutorial on this thing will be very difficult to make so if there's not enough demand then I'm not gonna be able to spend the time doing that but if y'all want to see it please let me know and I'll try my best to get one made for y'all this is gonna be a very hard thing to do a tutorial for but I'll try my best for you guys anyways thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one be sure to subscribe for more videos like this goodbye